Hope so. Could have killed somebody. It's a car that helped define an era. The very first Camaro ever built is on display here in the valley. And one of the men who literally helped build that car was reunited with it today. It's, it's hard to believe that it could generate as much excitement as it is. But there's one thing about cars. We get to know them and we get to love them just like we do family. It's the first ever Camaro, actually with the very first VIN number, and Herb Leitz was one of the men who helped build it. Herb worked as a manager at the plant that oversaw production of the car. These are moments in history that you don't always get these opportunities to uh, reunite people with the cars that they built. And building the muscle cars back then was a painstaking process. Some pieces would take many hours to work on. And today, the 89-year-old Scottsdale man was reunited at the Barrett-Jackson showroom with the legacy he helped create. Did you like the shape of the car when you first saw it? <clears throat> no. The car's had an amazing history, and I didn't think we had the capability of being able to resurrect it from... The original Camaro was found in storage in 2009 and went through a lengthy restoration. It's hard to tell where, where the... What's different? <laughs> it's just amazing. And Barrett Jackson was happy to set up the reunion. Well, it's very special, especially having VIN number one cars. We have a great history of uh, selling VIN number one cars, mostly for charity. But, uh, you know, having the guy that built the car here, very cool. <laughs> They've proven the test of time. People love the cars. They love the body style. And they've endured. You've still got a chance to check it out. And it is something to see. Car will be on display at the showroom through tomorrow.